Hey, welcome back to another episode of RN Cliff Notes Live, right? So we're here and we said these kind of students are putting up with us in our YouTubery. <laughs> yeah, so here we go. So this time we're looking at dysrhythmias. We're going to start with our basic ones that we left off with and build from there. So let's name them as we go. So right here we've got which one now? Asystole. Asystole. All right, and let's scroll up. Which one? Ventricular tachycardia or VTAC. Great. And how about that one? V fib. Okay, good, good. Okay, here we go. Now that was our what? Our trinity of our lethal dysrhythmias. All right, now let's go to this one. A fib. Right, good catch. Good catch. A fib. All right, nicely done. So now the next one. This one's a little different. This is a newbie. And so this one is atrial flutter. So let's back up. So notice, and maybe we can see these together, right? So we've got, notice, right? Atrial what? Fibrillation is shaking going across here. But then this one, you want to think of this one as the one with the terrible teeth, right? So this one, the sawtooth pattern. And that's another thing. Typically, uh, when it comes to examination sometimes, uh, if asked about a classic sawtooth pattern, this is the one that's the classic sawtooth pattern. This looks like the one you can cut the tree down the quickest with. Why? Wow, it's got the extra teeth in the middle. So instead of fibrillating, we've got what? Fluttering. Fluttering of the P waves going on in here in between the QRSs. So atrial flutter. So you'll find that as I set up the dysrhythmias, I put them next to the ones that kind of related to it. So when we started off, it was what? The three lethals, yes? <laughs> then what? Atrial fibrillation. Then what? Atrial flutter. Okay, so there's a flow to it. Okay, so we good on that one? Yes. All right. Well, wait a minute. Let's check you out. How about you give me the pulse rates for both of these? This rhythm. Or okay, so the top one, let's start there. So the atrial fibrillation, what's the, what is the pulse rate on that one? 100. You say how much? 100. 100. Everybody agree with that? Yeah. Okay, so we count across. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Yes. So we've got a pulse of 100 for that one. How about here? 70. 70. 70. Mm -hmm. All right, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Yes. All right, so our atrial fibrillation and our atrial flutter. All right, so as we progress on, we've got this one. So wait a minute, what's the uh, pulse rate on this one? 40. 40, so, ah, bradycardia, sinus bradycardia, excellent. Good, check you out, <laughs> sinus bradycardia, good stuff, all right. Now we go to this one. <laughs> what did, so what's our pulse rate? 50. 50. Is 50? No. Is it? No. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no. Isn't that amazing? No. I mean, you know the answer, but I, if I just turn to you and say, is it? Yes. Right? You're like, oh, wait a minute. No, it's no, it's not. It's not. So that's sinus tacky. Okay, yeah. Wait, wait, wait. No, no, sinus brady. Oh, sinus brady. Sinus brady. What? One, two, oh, three, yes, right. four, five. Ah, but check it out. See, the other one was what? Obviously brady. Right. But many times I put this one up and students confuse this one and want to call this normal sinus rhythm. It would have been if it had what? One more beat. It was one beat away from being NSR, right? And so what did I do? I put them, what, near each other. Mm -hmm. So this is sinus brady at 40, but this is what? Also sinus brady, just at 50. 
Ah. Okay, now. Mm -hmm. Oh boy. That's, That's definitely tachycardia. <laughs> All right. So you say sinus tachycardia with a pulse rate of what? 130. <laughs> How much? 130. 130. Yeah. So we should count 13 of these. Mm -hmm. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Excellent. Yeah, 130. Sinus tachycardia. But I want you to notice something. Let's back up. Because this is important. When we talk about the difference between normal sinus rhythm, sinus bradycardia, and sinus tachycardia, what I want you to do is imagine that I had a slinky in my hand. Remember those? Mm -hmm. Are they still those things? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you can never get that thing to work, but the commercial was so fantastic. <laughs> but, but anyway, so say I had a slinky, and a slinky represented, right, these different rhythms. So see, when I stretch it out, right, the coils, what, get wider and wider, right, that represents bradycardia. What, lots of space in between each one? each one of the coils, mm -hmm. but if I what? Push them together and collapse them together, that would represent what? Tachycardia. So what does that say? So if you take normal sinus rhythm and do what? Stretch it out, it becomes sinus bradycardia. You put it, you push normal sinus rhythm together and push the QRSs closer together, you wind up with what? Sinus tachycardia. So what does that say? Bradycardia is just what? Normal sinus rhythm, slow down. Tachycardia is normal sinus rhythm, what? Sped up. And why? Because you can see your P wave, you can see your QRSs and your T's. But when we looked at something like DTAC, what? The P's and the T's were gone. It was like pure QRSs. Yeah? Awesome. Okay, so a method to the madness. Okay, she said, ooh, <laughs> that's right. That thing is different, isn't it? Oh, yeah. oh my goodness, but well, check this out. All right, so we're doing this thing Cliff Notes way. And what I want you to see is, there's something different about this QRS, isn't there? Mm -hmm. And here's what's different about it, by the way. So instead of our typical QRSs, we've got this, we've got that, right? And we've got, let's do one here, just in case we can't get in the camera. There. Okay. So what I want you to see is the blue letter S that's flipped around. This S is flipped over, right? It looks like that. See that letter S? It's like repeated. Can everybody see it? Mm -hmm. Okay, and what that is, right? This is SVT, supraventricular tachycardia. Right? So we've got a QRS that's got a backwards letter S on it. Supraventricular tachycardia. Supra, which represents supra high, superior. So, right? So, SVT. But now, let's check out that rate. Now, SVT can get super, super high. And we're gonna watch a video. This is the one we're gonna watch a video about. And they're gonna medicate this patient with a medication called adenosine. And adenosine is going to help to cardiovert this woman out of SVT. But now, so as you're studying to become RNs, here's what you need to know about that medication adenosine, right? So here's what happens with adenosine, and I've watched it given before. And I tell you what, after you give it, you everybody is like on edge, waiting for that person's heart to like restart. So, right, you kind of slam in that, you slam in adenosine, it's got to go in now. I mean, you're pushing it fast and hard, and you're flushing it typically with about uh, 10 to 20, uh, like 20 mLs of normal saline, pushing that in fast as you can, 
And in many instances, not only did you do that, but you may even raise the person's arm. Why? We're trying to get it in as fast as possible. So that it hits their heart and what stops their heart for about 10 seconds maybe. So it's a pretty freaky thing to see on an EKG that you slam that medication in right and the EKG was going boop, boop, boop. Then what? All right. <laughs> then that's about 10 seconds. Boop, boop, boop. But that, that period of like, you know, not hearing the steady beat, you're standing there at the bedside. Right. <laughs> right. Say a little prayer. Like open that thing, kick back in. But yeah. So that's gonna be a pretty interesting video that we watch. But now, what do we say is the rate there? That's a busy one, isn't it? Oh, oh man. I mean, at least as I count this, at least because some of these other ones might get counted. By the way, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Probably higher than that yeah. because your EKG might actually pick up on some of these other uh, elevations. So yes, yeah, at least 180 on that. So SVT. Here comes another one. <laughs> yes, yes, my goodness is right. This one is torsides. So you probably heard the name torsides, but I want you to catch that name. Tors. Torsad. What what are you hearing there? Torsion. Torsion. What torsion means what? Twisted. And so this is what that represents. And this is going to be, I mean, you're going to have to kind of flow with me here for a minute. Okay. So let's see. Let's find a blank sheet of paper. Mm. All right. This is what I have to do. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to scribble on it, you know, just a few little waves there, just like that. And I want you to see this. Torsad. Notice that torsad says what? It looks like it's waxing and waning. It gets bigger, 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 smaller, 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 bigger, 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 right? Smaller like that. And here's what that means. <clears throat> so, torsad, right? And I'm going to pretend I'm that person's EKG going across. So what? Nice and big wave, right? Mm -hmm. And then what happens? Right? Notice what I'm doing with the paper. Turning it, and what's happening? The wave is getting smaller, smaller, and they might actually go into asystole for a little bit. Mm -hmm. Then what? Now it's getting taller, taller again, right? Mm -hmm. So that's what that's what that's why they call it torsades. That person's weight is what? Waxing and waning. Getting taller, 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 then what? Smaller, smaller, smaller. So when you see that that wave-like motion. It looked like VTAC, but on top of looking like VTAC, what? It's, it's getting smaller, it's getting bigger, it's getting smaller. What's happening? It looks like it's twisting. So what? Torsion, torsades. So you hear some people say the full name, which would be torsades de point. So what does that say? Twisting of the what? Point. So you see all the little points, and it looks like they're twisting. Or sides they point. And the pulse on that one. No, we're not gonna do that. <laughs> we're not gonna do that one. We'll be here all night counting that one. Right? <laughs> okay. Now, here, here comes the extra special one. Oh boy. So you've been reading in your workbooks and those sheets that I gave you about a PVC. What do we say PVC stood for? Premature ventricular. Premature ventricular contraction. But first, let's, let's classify what a PVC is. Here's what a PVC is. So we said premature ventricular contraction. For whatever reason, your patient's heart is irritable and the ventricle jumps in front of the P wave prematurely. It should have, it didn't, instead of waiting its turn, what did it do? It jumped ahead. Why did it do that? Here's why. You got some people who have drank entirely too much caffeine. You got some people who smoke cigarettes, right? You got some people who are under high stress. So what's that? So the caffeine from the coffee, the nicotine from the cigarettes or tobacco, and stress and things like that, right? Things that what? Make your heart irritable. So uh, that's what can get your PVCs going. And by the way, 
Not that that's just happening to some patient, it's happened to you. It's happened to every last one of us. Think about it. Just remember that time, right? Hey, you are. You, you come rushing in, right? You're kind of late for the test, and your, your computer, your computer ain't even warmed up yet, and you're hoping they let you in the room, and you, you're kind of late, right? You come through the door and see if the instructor gonna let you sit down, and people looking like, <laughs> right? And you're rushing and trying to get everything together, and you, right? And you feel it in your, in your chest, yeah. and you go, what was that? Mm -hmm. But then everything go back to normal, you're like, okay, I'm good, right? <laughs> But you felt that you felt that thump in your chest, yes? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was you threw a PVC. Why? Because you were like pumped up on adrenaline. So the adrenaline, just like the caffeine, just like the what? Nicotine. Yes. Now, this is special. This is what? One PVC by itself. Boom. Now, we see that, we take note of it. But it's not that big of a deal. Why? People throw them. But the issue is what? You can't throw them on a consistent basis. And now remind me, when we were doing our exercises, we said how many PVCs back to back on top of each other? Three. Three. And if you have a run of three or more PVCs back to back, what do we call that? That was a run of? I better stop leaning back, wait till I say it. <laughs> that was a run of? Venture to attack. There you go, VTAC. That was a run of VTAC. Excellent, good. So here, let me draw it for you so you see it, right? So, so normal beat, sort of, <laughs> right? And then there, the T, then here's your PVC. But then what we can't have is what? Another PVC, and then another PVC. You see it? Mm -hmm. At some point, this starts to look like what? V tac. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we get a run like that. That person didn't just have three PVC. They had a run of V tac. Okay. Good. Now we can, now we're about to get into deep water. I and mean, you're probably looking like I thought we were already in it. <laughs> <laughs> so. It gets deeper from here because they start to get special names when they happen in a certain rhythm. So here we go. Now we've got what? PVCs, but this is what? Every other beat is a PVC. Now, here's what you need to do to decipher the name. Depending on when the PVC happens, that's its name. And it gets the last name, Jimmy. So, right? Normal beat, PVC happen on what, the second beat? Mm -hmm. Normal beat what, PVC on the second beat? Second. Two is what, by Jimmy. Jimmy. By is two. Ah, okay, you with me on that? Mm -hmm. But then what if we got normal beat, normal beat, PVC happening on the third? Try Jimmy. Try Jimmy. Try Jimmy. So let's get a look at that one. So that was a bi. That was a bi Jimmy just a second ago. Here's a tri Jimmy, right? What normal, normal PVC. Normal, normal PVC. See it? Mm -hmm. One, two, three. One, two, three. The PVC is happening on the third beat, so we call it tri Jimmy. Got it? Yeah. Okay, so now let's check out another one. What will we call that one now? Quadrivity. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. Yeah, yeah, she said quadrivity. <laughs> Fantastic. No, that's good enough. Quadrivity. Quadrivity. Yeah, so, right? So, what? PVC? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Quadrivity. Okay. Now, these other ones. They're heart blocks. Okay, okay. Oh man, that's another series. So thank you out there in YouTube world. <laughs> thank you students. Let's pause this thing. Yes, all right, okay, yeah, we snapped the fingers. Yeah.